guys. Today I am making my favorite kale salad. And you know, we all know we need to eat more kale, right? It's super nutritious, loaded with antioxidants, vitamin C, vitamin K, protein, fiber, I mean, it run down the whole list. I mean, you just can't beat it. And one of the things that I love about kale is that you can prepare a kale salad in advance. You know, most lettuces and greens are really tender. So if you put the dressing on and stick it in the fridge or pack it for lunch, you know, to take to work with you, it's kind of slimy and gross by the time you eat it, right? So, but kale is really substantial and hearty. And so you can prepare your kale salad, put the dressing on and keep it in the fridge for up to three to four days, which is awesome, great time saver. Let's get started. So the basic ingredients for this salad are really simple. Obviously we need some kale. I've got both green and purple curly kale, but you can use any kale that you like. And you know, if you're not real familiar with kale, this is what it looks like when you purchase it in the bunch at the store. Um, I cut it off at about here, or you can just break it off at about here. And then I save all those stems and I juice them because you get a lot of juice out of those stems. You know, they are, they are edible, but they're very fibrous um, and they're a little bit hard on your digestion if you're not used to eating that type of fiber. So I just cut those off and save them for my juice. Um, then we also need some good olive oil. I like this one, it's from Costco. It's very affordable, it's organic, it is extra virgin, and it is the first cold press. So that's the healthiest olive oil. And then we need some sea salt and pepper. Again, I get these Kirkland brand at Costco because they're so affordable and they come in the big containers. I go through them really fast. And then that's like your basic dressing. That's what we're gonna use to massage um, the kale. Oh, and don't forget a lemon. Hmm, almost forgot the little lemon. The lemon helps to break down the kale and make it more tender. And then after that, you can kind of add anything you want. I'm gonna add, today I'm gonna add some pumpkin seeds and some shredded beets because, oh my God, I love beets and they're so good for you. If you don't love beets, no worries. You could use carrots, you can use any veggie you like, or you can just skip the veggie. So I've got my kale, I've washed it, and I've torn it into, you know, about bite-sized pieces. You can chop it or you can just tear it. And you wanna put it in a big, big bowl. So you've got lots of room to work. And I'm not gonna measure right now because I've done this a thousand times, but I'm gonna put some exact measurements um, in the description for you. So you can measure if you want to. And some sea salt. Pepper. And then I'm going to use the juice of this whole lemon. And if you've got it, this one looks like it doesn't have seeds, but just in case, I'm gonna squeeze it into my hand. And that way, you know, if you've got seeds, the seeds go in your hand and you can throw them away. Okay, so just the olive oil, salt and pepper, and lemon juice, and now we're gonna massage. So get in there with your hands, and you really wanna work the kale so that the oil, and especially the salt and the lemon working with the oil, are gonna break down the cellular structure of the kale. You're gonna make it a lot more tender, and you're gonna see when we're finished massaging it here that the volume is going to have deflated quite a bit in this kale and it's gonna be much more tender and yummy. And again, like I said, you know, one of the great things about kale is that it kinda of just gets better as it sits with the dressing. It gets more tender and more flavorful. So I like to make this salad um, when I have my prep day for the week, which is usually on a Sunday. And um, I'll eat it, I'll eat this salad every day. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And by then it's gone, if, it's, if it lasts that long. Okay. See, see how much less, it looks like we have so much less kale. It's just broken down and gotten more tender and yummier. Okay, so I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my other ingredients. My pumpkin seeds and some beets. Look at that, oh, God, that's beautiful. And again, I'm gonna use my hands because mm, I'm a chef and I like to work with my hands. Just toss it all together. That is looking so good. This is gonna be my lunch and maybe even my dinner today. Oh man, look at that. That is so beautiful. And that is it. That's all you've gotta do. Now look, if you do beets, ah, bloody mess, right? <laughs> be right back. 
so let's give it a try. Mm. That's so good. Oh, <laughs> don't be alarmed. I don't mind getting my hands a little bit purple, but if you do, get some disposable gloves from the drugstore. Mm, so good. Make sure you click on the subscribe link. So you can get all my updates. Sorry, I'm chewing one. <laughs> I'm talking. Mm. Click on the subscribe link so you can get all my updates and give me a thumbs up if you like this, if you thought it was useful. I'll put the whole recipe with measurements, promise, in the description below. So check that out. See ya.